We are having a fab time together. It's always nice to see how we can make our own things at home with our eco diva, Nicole. What are you making today or teaching us to make today? We are making organic lip balm or lip gloss today. So there's completely natural ingredients because a lot of these um, store-bought products have uh, petroleum base, mm -hmm. which is not so good for you. So this is all natural. Um, and what it's do made we need? up. Okay, so basically if you go to your local chemist um, or pharmacy, this is beeswax. I don't know if you can see that. Beeswax. It comes in little um, round particles. And what we're going to do is we're going to melt it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put one to two teaspoons of beeswax into a, usually in a pan or a glass bowl if you want to microwave. And then we've got sweet almond oil, which is a beautiful, very, very moisturizing mm -hmm. oil. And we're going to put um, seven to eight teaspoons of almond oil. We've already done that because um, our kitchen is being uh, taken over. Because I'm going to be cooking, cooking me a bit later. Time. Exactly. I'm making so an almond that. cupcake, so nice that we're using well, exactly. almond Exactly, it's all this. almond today. Mm -hmm. so, and the, so then the other ingredients I love um, are honey because it's very, very moisturizing mm -hmm. and also healing for the lips. And this is a really fantastic recipe for winter. But it's great in summer as well. Now, they said winter is not over yet. I know we've got four more weeks of winter. They say expect more winter days to come. So this is perfect. Exactly. I so you're adding a teaspoon of the honey. adding one teaspoon of honey, which is not very much. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add also a little bit of almond um, vanilla essence because this is what gives it a beautiful flavor and a lovely smell. Now, see, you've just poured in. How much do you pour in? I just poured in a few drops, actually. <laughs> What you want to do is you want to beat this up quite well. You really want to get it to a nice frothy, it doesn't really froth, but mm. you've got to get it really working hard because what happens is the beeswax coagulates eventually and I'll show you, we've already made one, so I'll show you what we did. Now, where did you learn to make this? You uh, just like to experiment <laughs> at home, don't you? <laughs> we should actually ask our viewers, what is any of the homemade products they make at home? Well, exactly. I think that's, that's a great a good idea. One. Let's exactly. know on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show, SABC3. Share our ideas with Nicole and myself. What do you make at home that's natural? You can also tweet Nicole. What's yes. your Twitter handle? Twitter at Eco Green Lounge. Let us know how you keep green at home making your own products and what you do. So this is an old uh, takeaway container. You know how I love recycling. Oh, no, I'm the same. I've got so a whole cupboard from, full of them. So this is from the sort of uh, Asian Chinese restaurant. Mm -hmm. There were chilies in here. So <laughs> I washed it nicely so it won't burn you. So I'm recycling. And then all you do is as you pour into the bowl, into the new container, you just keep mixing it. And it literally will set all by itself. Do you, you don't need to put it, to it in the fridge? There. You don't need to put it in the fridge. It takes about five minutes to set. It's really mm. not long. These old containers um, were travel containers that I used for my creams and everything. So mm. I washed those out and I'm recycling these as well. But this is what the finished product looks like. Wow, and it smells gorgeous. Isn't it delicious? It's vanilla and honey. And if you, I mean, you can just feel, I know you've mm -hmm. got lipstick on, but you can just feel on your skin. It's just this amazingly so moisturizing for the skin. What's fun for the kids as well, I got some um, vegetable dye, um, mm -hmm. like food dye, and because I wanted to experiment to see if I could maybe create like a red lip gloss. Which is ideal because we did so the kiddies party earlier with red and blue with Sam, uh, teamed up with Pick and Pay, and this would be a perfect kiddies gift as well. Well, exactly, but also this is good for us because it, it gives a bit of a red tint to mm -hmm. the lips. So you can also add that if you... Make want a to work with the kids, make a lipstick, exactly. Wow. So that was what we did, and it's completely natural. So you don't so need to worry so about, about any toxins. This is Nothing all homemade, all, all you can make at home. And also Absolutely. let us know on our Facebook page and tweet us, what do you make at home that's uh, organic, original, and how do you recycle making your own goods at exactly. home? Exactly. Yeah. Any questions you have, you can get me at nicole at simplygreen.co.za. be happy to answer questions. Find the details on our uh, website, expressoshow.com. Ask her, because she answers immediately. I do, and I'm also making a big product range for the Eco Diva, so mm -hmm. it's going to be announced fairly soon. We will in the making, it, yeah, so we'll talk about it soon. But the lip gloss is definitely going to be part of it. It's, mm -hmm. it's been a big hit so far. And well, then obviously those rag bags I made last week. So. Well, Nicole, thanks so much <laughs> Thank for joining so us. Much. Thank you for teaching us how to make our own lip gloss. Ewan, what do you think of this?